It's the first game of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Spawning on Echo to the bottom right-hand corner in green. Playing Zerk, it's Alaris. And to the top left-hand corner in blue. Playing Zerk for my risk. And Germany, it's Schnubi. So, let's see what's going to happen on a short rush distance map like this. So, Alaris just uh, waiting for some money to get up. Seems as if she might want to go for a pool first build, which wouldn't kind of... No, actually not. Going for a hatch first build instead. So, wouldn't have actually been that much surprised if uh, a Zerg player just chooses an early pool build on this map, since the rush distances are pretty short. So, let's see. Shinobi, uh, not really countering, but also deciding to go for a hatch first build. Shinobi actually most of the time goes for that. I think I haven't even seen her going pool first once in all of her games throughout the season. M maybe at some point. I don't really recall all of the games right now. But uh, yeah, it's, it's just her standard build. We see her go into hatch first very often. So nothing all too uncommon here. Um, extractor pool right behind it. Same for Laris as well. Has already taken uh, gas for a little bit and is already getting some out of it. So a little bit earlier than Shinobi here. Already getting a small advantage at least. And uh, the pool also... Oh, the pool actually seems a little bit earlier. Well, only a second. A second earlier for Shinobi here. Uh, Overlord's already in the making. We have the special skin for Shinobi here, the normal skin for Azalis, uh, for, sorry, Alaris. <laughs> Never mind, but these two names are pretty similar. You have to, uh, you have to give me that. So, four circlings already in production for Shinobi here, so Shinobi really wants to be a little bit aggressive, it seems, or she just wants to have four circlings out just in case. Her opponent might plan something sneaky. Her Overlord has not really flown that far into it. Uh, this is Alaris's one, so Shinobi just still has to check whether Lynx are headed her way or not. Uh, would already see some early Zerklings right now. Alaris in the meantime going into a Baneling nest already. So it seems as if she wants to play rather defensive here. Does not really want to attack that early on. Uh, just rather wants to have uh, some Banelings out. And then maybe start in the Zerkling production once her second base is up and a little bit more saturated. That's what we usually see out of her in ZVZ especially, where she just goes into Mars Lings and Banelings and then just tries to overwhelm her opponent by sheer force. So let's see if it's going to work against Shinobi or not. Shinobi just gets a little Zerkling in, gets a good scout of what's actually going on. Nothing all too surprising, but now she knows that her opponent has a base up. Up. Indeed has some links and a queen out already. Might have already seen the spawning pool wiggling. Don't really know if she's seen the mailing nest. She hasn't, but she might already assume uh, that a Baneling Nest is up and that her opponent is probably going into Ling Bane at some point in time. Well, two Banelings for Laris already in the morphing, quite close to the mineral line of Shinobi's second base here. So let's see if she manages to get these Banelings into the mineral line, make them explode at a good chunk of drones here, taking them with them into their death. So Shinobi in the meantime going for a quick Roachworn, mostly doing the uh, Mitsukotsu build. Actually, we have to say, taking an early third, trying to get the early roaches out. That's actually what Mitsukotsu also likes to play a lot. So it seems as if she's just copying uh, or paying tribute to her team comrade here. In the meantime, Alaris has already discovered Shinobi's third base attempt. Uh, has sent a few links over here with Banelings as well. Probably just waiting for the Zings to arrive and maybe just get these Banelings into the chunk of the Zerklings over here. Doesn't really get it right in there. Oh, unfortunately, a small little hit there for Shinobi. But Shinobi still has two Zerklings left that still have way more HP than that of her opponents. But Alaris, in the meantime, produces uh, has already produced a few more Zerklings. Is now getting into the third base, tearing it down, forcing Shinobi to cancel. Uh, while taking the third base off her own and it's almost done. So with more links out, I feel Shinobi unfortunately can't really go out on the map trying to tear down that third base. I think she doesn't even know that it exists yet. Yet she does. So never mind. The Overlord actually grants her enough vision over to 
see that hatchery. So I think she will, uh, she will mostly just uh, get roaches uh, on mass and then just run across the map and trying to deny that third base for most of the time. Might even actually be able to overwhelm her opponent here with such a big roach force there. So let's see if actually Alaris will be prepared for that. There are still links that could do a run by that could also really hurt Shinobi's economy and production and tech and everything depending on what the links actually attack first. Uh, if they actually uh, run by an attack. So Shnubi in the meantime just waiting with a few more roaches. Don't really know what she's waiting for. I think she doesn't really want to uh, wait for attack level 1. I think she should really just grab most of these roaches. And links on the Banes of course as well. Because the Banes will actually help her a lot if she encounters some links out on the map that try to surround this roach force. So up till now, well Alaris actually now knows that a uh, force is headed her way. She's seen it with that over Lord over here and also with the one no with the one over here as well so never mind so run by as we were already speaking of I uh, think she really wants to get into the third base no she actually knows that there is no third base but Shinobi in the meantime also walking into the third as well no uh, banes over here Ooh, uh, no um drones over here unfortunately so the banes unfortunately die into the hatchery here just explode and now unfortunately Shinobi just gets surrounded on the ramp by most of these zerglings here zerglings will probably just trade very oh unfortunately Shinobi even going uh, taking a move command here so most of the roaches were not attacking for like three or four seconds there making the Ling attack even worse with a surround and Shinobi unfortunately just gives up right away while Ling's uh, while uh, workers were still dying inside her natural base to that uh, Ling run by as well. So sees that the economy is too small and Alaris takes the first game. Second map is Overgrowth. Alaris already leading 1 to 0. Did a good run by there. Killed most of Shinobi's Echo at home while also defending against the Roach push by surrounding all of her Roaches with Ling's and also having some queens close by that add uh, that added some damage there. So let's see what Shinobi wants to do this time around. Probably going into hatch first. Uh, this is like the shortest rush distance map in the map pool, Overgrowth. So let's see if Alaris actually also goes for a hatch first or if she rather wants to go for some cheese. Seems like she doesn't. So, hatch for so actually Shinobi a little bit earlier there, being a little bit more efficient with her minerals and time resources. So in the meantime we have overlords flying across the map, trying to get some vision. Shinobi just sending her overlord over here, then taking the route towards the... Ooh, interesting, towards the third base, okay. Which will then automatically scout uh, links if they were to run right across the map inside the natural base. This overlord would immediately spot them as soon as uh, they run underneath them. So, an extractor already down, spawning pool next. Same for Shinobi, nothing spectacular or all too uncommon here. Overlords will greet in just a second here. There we have it. The sweet rendezvous right above that little swamp here. Other overlord will fly towards the third base, always checking for a third. Spawning pool will be already done in just a few seconds, and then Alaris will just wait for the 100 gas in order to start the link speed. Is already producing a few links here, might even actually go for an early attack, we'll see to that. But uh, Shinobi is ready, producing her own four links. Well, with a small creep tumor over here and uh, then some drones, you can actually just pretty quickly seal this area off. You need quite a lot of buildings, but if you see an early attempt of Ling Bailing incoming, uh, you might as well just wall this off with the help of a queen or two maybe even, uh, in order to defend a little bit more easily. Alaris is already running out with uh, a few Links here just wants to get some information. She'll be in the meantime taking the watchtowers, getting all the information she could possibly want. So yeah, we already see that there is a lot of vision there for Shinobi. Uh, Bane links again are rolling over here. It seems as if Alaris just again wants to go for the Baneling bust or for the Baneling explosion right into the natural base. That seems to be a pretty common move out of her. 
So we'll just wait here for the Bane Link Nest to finish, and then we will probably see these two Bane Links, or these two Links morph into Bane Links. But it seems as if this time around, Shinobi is also trying to get um, a base over here. Very early third, same as Alaris, probably maybe an answer even to that third base. Unfortunately, the Links are already here. So yeah, even that, that quite a nice move here by Shinobi, just saving that drone, uh, getting it into an extractor here, just waiting for her own Links to arrive, and then she might be able to just cancel that extractor and using the drone once more in order to get this base down. Yeah, so actually quite nice move here by Alaris, just putting these two links there, just in case her opponent would try to take a third base. And then later on, she could just always morph them into main links close by, so she would just have the additional main links uh, with her army. So it seems as if uh, this time around, Alaris just wants to be a little bit more aggressive towards the third base, is sending some lower links across the map. Shinobi is already producing a lot of links as well, same as Alaris. So it seems as if both ladies just want to go into the Ling Baneling Wars while their third base is building. So let's see who actually has the better control in a Ling by in a Ling Baneling War, a micro war, that was where the eye was coming from. So Queen unfortunately not injecting here, which will put Shinobi a little bit behind because she will just have a lot less lava available in just a few uh, turns. If you consider one lava inject one turn, then uh, yeah, Shinobi will just have way less lava available. And even with the money banking up, she will not be able to uh, put it all into links there because the lava will not just be sufficient enough. So her own base will finish a little bit later here. The Overlord will tell Alaris when it's going to happen. In the meantime, Alaris just droning like crazy, he wants to get this base saturated. Uh, I mean, that's just the best thing she can actually do. She has vision over everything. Sees that uh, the links are here, sees that the main army is over here, is not walking across the map. She has a lot of overlords out on the map as well. I mean, just have a look at that vision. There's still some weak spots where uh, Shinobi, that, that Shinobi could actually abuse but of course she doesn't know that from her point of view where the overlords are or where they are not but yeah mostly vision uh, of everything here for others so yeah of course the best thing you can do if you see that your opponent is not really making more links is not really preparing to move out is not running across the map towards you well yeah of course you want to drone like crazy why the hell wouldn't you so that's just what Alaris is doing right now. So she's already up in workers by 14, uh, 13 only now, uh, after losing one drone to something. I can't really tell what, but some drone just got lost. And, uh, okay, 12 now, Shinobi just also making a few more drones, now also droning a little bit more heavily. In the meantime, we have a Spire going down for Alaris. That's quite typical, as we said before, Alaris usually uh, a type of Muta player. While Shinobi actually usually, usually likes to go into her roaches, but unfortunately I feel this is not the right decision uh, right now. Of course she can't really know that by now, it's just her common style, it's just the way she wants to transition into the mid-game. But uh, with her opponent going into Spire and having that Spire attack available that early on, with the roaches only like half done, I mean she really wants to get the Gleal reconstitution out, the roach speed, in order to run across the map and then just kill off as much as possible before the muters actually come out. But Alaris is already banking up a lot of resources here, just waiting for that spire to pop and then to produce like 10 muters at once. And again, 10 sudden muters? Shinobi will have a very hard time. Has she actually seen the? No, she hasn't. No idea of the spire. Might actually just guess that her opponent is going into spire. If uh, Shinobi has actually studied her opponent a little bit, she should assume that her opponent is a muter player. So that she, and, and also only having seen like a lot of Zerklings with the incoming Overlord here and not really anything else should also just tip you off. But unfortunately, it might just be too late. Is Shinobi already getting some anti air? No, none at all. There is the uh, Hydralisk then finally incoming. Oh, it might just barely be enough, but 14 Mutalisks are such a huge flock. It's such a force to be reckoned with. Alaris now moves in, sees that the Hydralisk then is in the making. And uh, of course the Hydralisk then just the best answer that Shinobi could have thrown down by now. Uh, the Hydralisk then just doesn't take that much time to build up. It's only a measly 30 seconds here. And then of course the Hydralisk themselves only also don't take that long. But you still need quite a lot of them in order to take out a Muta Force that big. 
So now the mutators fly in. We don't have any spore crawlers inside the bases, so the mutators can just reign supreme here, killing off everything, getting the queen, getting the workers, might even just focus down the lair if they want to. So let's see, finally the Hydralisk Din has uh, finished. We have 10 Hydralisks in production, but only 10 to 14, and nothing actually to deal some more damage. In the meantime, Shinobi has realized, well, my links are actually not worth anything at home, so I might as well just send them across the map, trying to deal some damage with the addition of the roaches as well. So while trying to defend at home with the Hydra, she also tries to deal some damage at Alaris' uh, base here, and she actually does quite well there, getting some drones, uh, getting a queen here as well, another queen over here, just dealing more and more damage. Maybe she might even be able to take down that spire, which would already be a huge thing. Unfortunately, her own lair has already died, so that's already a big disadvantage here. Six more muters in the making who will eventually be able to clear up that road force. More and more links just coming back for... Uh, Alaris here, Shinobi unfortunately not really focus firing down that Spire, but it seems that the Spire might just fall eventually, especially with the help of some Hydralisks, don't really know what they are doing over here. Maybe Shinobi just wants to go into a full base race scenario, just abandoning all of her bases, not trying to uh, kill the Mutas at home anymore, and actually forcing the Mutas mostly to come back. They are, these, they are the Mutas that uh, were just produced a second ago. Now the Roaches with a few Hydras are inside the main base, but the Hydra is actually getting focused fire down by Alaris, and now Shinobi doesn't have any anti-air in her army whatsoever. The Mutas just come back, kill off the remaining forces, and now Alaris will just go for the counter push. And I can't really see Shinobi doing anything against it. I mean, it's 120 supply to 65. Alaris already has her fourth base up, can actually even evacuate everything from the natural base into her fourth. And uh, now the full force of Laris just hits the third base. There are some Hydralisks, but they probably won't even be enough to deal with the Lynx over here. In the meantime, the Mutas just come in from behind, could actually easily kill off these Hydralisks. But uh, for now, Laris just taking out the Hydralisks. Then no more Hydralisks for Shinobi, which actually mean almost no anti-air. Queens alone will not suffice. So it seems as if Shinobi will probably have to give up right now. I think Shinobi is not quite certain in what kind of position she is. Actually, she is. She knows that her opponent has a fourth base up. So I think, unfortunately, we can expect GG any minute now. Tries to get some spore crawlers up, struggling to stay into the game. Tries to buy herself some time, but being on two bases with her opponent being on four... Well, right now the uh, difference in mined minerals is actually not that big, but of course the gas count is what's really important. Alaris now also drawing up, knowing that she actually has the game in her hand. The only thing she makes, to, she has to make sure, is actually that her opponent is not trying to, or is not getting another base up. So she sniffs out the fourth base immediately. GG, and Alaris takes the second map as well. Welcome to the third map, it's Habitation Station. And Alaris is leading 2-0. While Shnubi has to think of something now to win three games in a row, if she still wants to win that best of five. A rather difficult task to do. Uh, actually, it seems as if none of the players wants to go for some Echo Cheese uh, with a gold base. Both players just already sending out their overlords accordingly to spot uh, whether the opponent is taking a gold base or not. Well, it's actually not much you really have to do. The overlord will fly by the gold base anyways if you just send them over towards the natural. So natural base getting taken by Shnubi here. Seems as if she might be... No, this time around Alaris actually is a little bit earlier with her hatchery. Doesn't really matter that much. Just a millisecond there. So, not really that important. Extractor going down for LRS. Actually, a little bit earlier than for Shinobi. Or well, maybe Shinobi wants to go into a gasless build, which would be quite interesting, but no. Just waiting for the drone to get out. But yeah, a little bit later of an extractor, so her own gas will just add up a little bit later, probably, unless Alaris just messes up her timing uh, for the drones to send them into the extractor, but she doesn't. So she will just get the 100 gas needed for the link speed a little bit earlier. Will thus start the link speed a little bit earlier as well, and that will gain her a little bit of advantage, probably not that much, that she could really make use out of it. 
since uh, the timing window for her advantage is just, just very, very small. I mean, if she actually, like, sent over her first few links very early on to make sure that she can really hit once the circling speed finishes and her opponent is, like, 10 seconds behind, maybe, then you might be able to pull something off, but uh, probably not. So, first few links already in production for Shnubi. Shnubi really careful here, knows that her opponent likes to overwhelm her opponents with a Ling and Bang Ling flood. At least she's tried to do that in a lot of her last games in the FSL season. So let's see if uh, Alaris just wants to come back to that once more. Last game she uh, actually went for a macro game, just wanted to get her desired Mewa, Muta combo out. So in the meantime, both players just drowning up, getting queens, getting metabolic boosts, and there we see it like like five to six seconds. Well, that's the difference between the speed of both players. So nothing that's really worth mentioning. So Overlord's getting placed into position. Alaris just checks the gold once more. Also wants to have some zerglings in place. Just uh, again, probably. Uh, to morph them into banelings. Her overlord does actually not know about the third base and the other one does not as well. Uh, positioned quite nicely, but uh, unfortunately missing the point of the third base around here. And nice move there by Shinobi, just patrol moving these links over here and pretty f uh, far from each other. So that a bailing was to get into here, it would probably not hit all of them. So actually a nice patrol command here, I like it a lot. In the meantime, Alaris not going for a third base anytime soon. So if she actually, I mean, she's committing to a lot of links and banelings right now. Uh, seems where are the two banelings? There they are, like I said before, the two uh, starting links that get morphed into banelings somewhere. So, players, if you play against Alaris on the ZVZ, remember that uh, she will always have two links somewhere close to your base. Uh, that at some point will morph into Banelings. And here we see it, Banelings trying to get a good connection, actually get a good a decent hit over there. Uh, another Baneling over here trying to get the rest of the links that will probably get them. And there the rest of the links of Valeris arrives. Shnubi unfortunately probably risking too much by taking such an early third against her opponent. So now Shnubi has to produce a lot of links uh, pretty hastily. So getting into 18 links now, also getting some Banelings out as well. There's still one Baneling for Valeris here. So Shnubi just tries to tear down these links before they can take on the hatchery but the third base will go down while Laris is trying to take a third base off her own right behind. Wow! Massive Baneling connection over here for someone. Didn't really see who actually hit whom but that was just a massive one right now. It seems as if Laris might just have barely enough links. Oh no, okay, just wants to get in trying to deal some more damage. Noobie's links just following the links of Laris into the main base where two queens already are trying to deal some more damage over here. Maybe trying to hide these links in order to morph some more Bane links in the meantime? No, they actually get taken out while the rest of the links march home. And uh, now, of course, Alaris just one base up, and that's probably the reason why she decided to turn back, because she's already realized that she's up, uh, and that she already has gained herself a very big advantage here. So Shnubi again trying to get into a quick Roach Horn and will probably then again try to push uh, across the map with Roaches. Of course the build is a lot stronger if she had managed to keep her third base but it was almost impossible at that point in time. Ooh! Has to be careful not to run into these veins. That was really really close there. If Alaris had uh, detonated those by hand at the right time I think almost all of Shnubi's links would have died. So Shnubi now trying to deal as much damage as possible. Not trying to retake her third base over here, just getting maybe a few workers, but actually not really a lot. I mean, we don't really see any workers getting taken down. No, none so far. Okay, uh, trying to take down the Spire and we'll actually get it nicely done, or at least force the cancel. So that's of course already setting back Alaris by a little bit, and of course Shnubi now knows what her opponent is actually planning to do. She's already producing 40, uh, already producing 40 roaches out of two bases so again I mean roach um, roach squads can be pretty efficient if they hit at the right time don't really know if you actually would like to get up these upgrades 
uh, at some point, but uh, normally you would like to end the game at that point anyways. I mean, if she doesn't really manage to deal a big amount of damage right now, she should be out immediately, trying to take a third base behind it, but Laris has already saturated her third, so Shinobi needs to make something happen right now. This is her timing window, this is where she could actually deal some damage. Tries to get her roaches across the map, Alaris sees that the roaches are moving out, so she tries to gather her own forces. The only forces she actually has right now are mostly queens, but the spire is almost done. She's already banking up a lot of resources, will be able to um, force out a lot of, or will be able to just uh, produce a lot of mutalisks once the spire pops, but they will take some time before they actually hatch. So let's see if Shinobi might be able to deal enough damage in the meantime. Spire has popped, no mutas in production right yet. Alaris just busy microing her units at the front. Shinobi not really dealing the best amount of damage by microing forwards and backwards. I mean, it's quite difficult with roaches that do not have speed. So more and more links actually incoming for Alaris. Alaris not really going for the mutas. It seems as if she's too afraid of producing them, and now of course just wasting most of her resources into links, but it seems as if she just might... Oh uh, no, actually the links alone won't really suffice. Shinobi now actually is surrounding the spine core, he eventually taking it out. 18 more Zerglings in production for Alaris, and now finally the first Muta, while Shinobi is just trying to tear apart the third base here. Seems as if she might actually be able to get it. More mutas? No, actually more and more roaches in the making. Does she actually send them across the map? She does. Probably just wants to deal as much damage as possible. Might actually consider walking back here. Uh, just walking up the ramp right into the spine crawler. So I think she will probably just lose a lot of roaches here. And retreats for just a second only to come back in afterwards once more. Okay, just tries to take out the drone that tried to... Okay, actually just mine here. We just have some drones long distance mining. Uh, running right into Shnubi's army here, so she will lose these drones as well. So, a lot of damage has already been dealt, but now finally Alaris finds breath to produce all of these mutas she actually has only been waiting for. So Shnubi in the meantime just trying to fight an upwards fight against the ramp and uh, the spine crawlers that are standing on top of it. So now finally some mutalists have hatched. Uh, don't really know if Shinobi... I mean, Shinobi must have seen the Spire, right? I mean, she took it down. Maybe she hadn't realized that it was a Spire after all, because she has never even transitioned into anything that could just be Muta. Is now just trying to deal as much damage to that hatchery, maybe eventually taking out, but it just does not really work. More and more roaches are still rallied towards the front, which will unfortunately just die in vain. Ugh, very unfortunate loss there for Shinobi. I mean, she had been up for quite some time now trying to get some ravagers but ravagers are not really capable of hitting mutalists if the opponent is actually taking care of their units so uh, and watching so then then of course a ravager bile should just never hit a mutalist block at all so I think Shinobi unfortunately just forgot to build any anti-air. Seems as if she really thought or might have thought that uh, the building she took down earlier in the game was like a spore crawler or a spine crawler, and not a and not a spire. She might not just have uh, she might not have just have um, clicked on it, and it was just a small building morphing in. It, it, it just. Uh, takes not as much um, space as like a roach horn, so I think she really, well, kind, kind of forgot that, or didn't really see it, or whatever, because otherwise I think she would have prepared for mutas way earlier, and could have had a very nice counter once these mutas actually popped. With the third base gone, I think she would have uh, been able to deal quite some damage here and uh, might have just uh, been able to transition into a late game quite easily. But now, with the mutas out and no counter anti-air, no, no counter anti-air, we really have a big problem for Shinobi trying to just burrow most of these spore crawlers. But with this muta flock, I think a spore crawler could even be taken out by just one, by, by this muta look, by this mutalist flock. I think there's uh, nothing that Laris actually has to be afraid of. Shinobi just trying to produce more and more links, rushing across the map, maybe forcing the mutalists back every, uh, again. So wow. Wow, Shinobi actually just buying a lot more time here that might help her to beat her opponent eventually, but she's lost a lot of drones in the meantime, I feel. Well, yeah, 20 drones have gone down in the meantime, so she just has to replace them uh, for now. While Alaris, of course, has a lot of uh, workers, but it doesn't really matter that much since she's only on two bases. So 
if you just have a look at the income, it uh, it still looks better for uh, Alaris anyways. So trying to send them a few more links, trying to deal more damage, but it just gets countered and uh, Schnubi realizes I don't have anything against the Mutus and my main base is dead. GG's out and 3-0 for Alaris.